coming uh, uh, to the west of Mexico, and I don't remember hearing that before. Is that just because they weren't telling us, or there's been some change? Well, uh, this has happened for a long time. The East Pacific, this is the breeding ground for Mexican hurricanes. Uh, it turns out that when there are not many hurricanes in the Atlantic, such as 2006, there seem to be a lot of storms in the East Pacific, which was very much the case, because Hurricane John, you may have heard about, was a Category 4 storm that did strike mainland Mexico and cause an awful lot of damage down there. But yes, you're partly right, we typically don't hear about a lot of these landfalling events if they're outside of the United States. Any other questions? You said that um, the Bermuda High is what pushes it. Well, what creates the Bermuda High? <laughs> It's, 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 so it gets back to, uh, you know, it's the chicken or the egg. That's a good question. The Bermuda High is a semi-permanent pressure system uh, that is, exists year-round. It is generated by air that rises over the equator, spreads out towards the poles, and then sinks at around 30 north and 30 south. When all that air coming down towards the ground piles up on the surface and, and creates a mountain of air, that's high pressure. And this is always present, but it does shift around from year to year, and it does, in some years it's stronger, in, 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 in some years and weaker in others. And so it does have vagaries of its own. It does have its own personality. Okay, does that answer your question? Okay, good. Any other questions? I was wondering if the Bermuda High can change drastically during one season, or is it year to year? We typically don't see a lot of, of rapid fluctuation in the Bermuda High within a season. As a matter of fact, we do tend to see the Bermuda High, its behavior kind of persists over several years. So 2000, 2000, 2004, 2005, that high pressure was shifted further to the south and west, uh, putting it over the Caribbean, over Florida, over the Gulf of Mexico, and it kind of stayed there for a couple of years, right? Then it, in 2006, it retreated back towards the central part of the Atlantic Ocean. So it does have persistence from month to month to month. 